So how do you create solid Facebook ad posts so that you get tons of sales? Hey, what's going on guys? Shri Kanase here and today we're going to be talking about making solid Facebook ad posts so that not only do you get the most ROAS, but these posts do end up fitting your audience so that you have a better chance of finding that winning product faster and scaling your winning product faster because with the right post geared towards the right audience you will easily be able to do six figures within no time so like always if you haven't already be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and join our growing family and hit do hit that like button down below if this video does help you so let's jump right into it so whenever creating facebook ad posts there are actually three methods that i use and these methods actually depend on your niche and what kind of audience you're dealing with. But I've written down the general strategy that you should be using for your Facebook ad post, and this specific outline should work for most of the niches out there. And again, you can always play with this and try to find out the best type of ad post that works well with your audience because something I have written here may not always work with your audience. So again, take what I have written down here, twist it to your needs and use it accordingly. But the very first thing that you always have to do whenever creating an ad post is start with the hook. Now it doesn't always have to be starting with the question, but it definitely needs to be something that will drag your potential customer's attention to your ad in general. Because this is the most important sentence of your overall ad. And this is the first sentence that they will read when they're scrolling through their Facebook newsfeed or Instagram newsfeed. So this really needs to be something solid, much more solid than the rest of your ad copy because this is again the first sentence. And once you have that down, then we move on to the second and third sentences. For the second sentence, it needs to be something that's time incentive. Now what this means is that there needs to be some kind of scarcity involved in your ad copy and this comes into play into the second and third sentences. And I have some examples here as you can see. For the second sentence, what you can write is X percent off plus free shipping today only. So when they're reading through, they see this part and they may be inclined to purchase. But when they see this part, the amount they're inclined basically increases by two times because we have included scarcity in our ad. And this offer that we have already introduced, which is very good already, is available today only. And this basically makes them take the step of clicking on that link, going to your website and purchasing. So this is why this is also so important because this is the scarcity factor in your ad copy. And another type of scarcity that you can add is something like early summer sales. And summer is coming up, you could write early summer sale ends on a given date and this date could fit according to your needs again whatever you want it to be but these are two general things that you need to be focusing on on your second and third sentences and again you could play around with this but this is basically the general outline that you need to have in your ad copy and the third and final step of your ad copy would be the call to action now Whenever I make my own ads, I like to keep it short and simple. I don't like to make big chunk paragraphs because it just loses the customer's attention and it could drive the potential people who might, may have purchased from you away just because it's such a long read. And that's why I like to keep my ad copies about three to four sentences long. And the call to action is where you tell them what you want them to do, which is grab yours now, get yours now, or buy it now, buy yours now, etc. Again, you want to play around with this, see which kind of wording fits your audience. And if we scroll down below, I have included a few examples of ad copies that I have seen been used around and I've used myself. And these aren't for my own products, but I just went ahead and created new ad copies to show you guys how I implement my teachings, which I taught you guys up here. So the very first one is this one over here. Let me clean it up. So over here, as you can see, this we're going to take the fishing niche into consideration. So let's say I was selling a fishing reel. So I would begin with a very simple and straightforward hook. And as you can see, what I wrote over here is fish with ease. And then I have an emoji here. Again, emojis are also very important factors because it gives the light to your ad copy. It basically saves your ad copy from looking too dry. And you want to use emojis that fit your audience. So for fishing, I included fishing emoji. But in essence, 
as you can see fish with ease and then the emoji with speed fishing reel or it can be your item name but this is a very short and simple hook and it addresses one of their issues because fishers may want to fish with ease and simplicity and that is ex exactly what we're addressing here because we're telling them that they can fish with ease with our speed fishing reel and once they read that it grabs their attention and when they come down they see the fire emoji which again grabs more of their attention and after the fire emoji we have written X percent off plus free shipping today only so now the scarcity factor is impacting them and they are becoming much more inclined to click on that link and go ahead and purchase one of those speed fishing reels and then on the third sentence I like to include the get yours now the call to action twice because they may miss it one time they may miss seeing this link one time but if you include it twice they're much more inclined to click the link so in this example we included get yours now and then we included the arrow emoji and after the arrow emoji we want to include the link so include the call to action twice and then the final sentence is tag someone who needs one because potential customers may have friends and family who may be interested in the speed fishing reel so these people could simply act as ambassadors for our ad because they will be tagging other people who may end up purchasing from us so this is why it's so important to have this line at the end so this was one of the examples and one of the way that you can outline your ad cop now if we go on to the second one and let me clean this up as well so the second one starts with a question and again I have included an emoji but this time the emoji is up front and the question is do you love fishing and then after the question is unique speed fishing reel to make fishing easier again we have addressed one of their main issues which is fishing in general and we want to make fishing easier for them and we grab their attention with this line which is do you love fishing and since we'll be targeting fishers once they read this we know the question answer to this question will be yes and they will be tempted to go keep on reading and this sentence right here will make them go on to the next line which we have included a present box emoji this time and the line states early spring sale and then ends on a given date again we have added scarcity to it and then the third and fourth lines are again the call to action which are grab yours now and this time I included the arrow emoji instead of the finger emoji and then the final sentence again will be text someone who needs this so as you can see so far very short and simple ad copies but they're very effective and bound to grab your customers attention now the final ad copy that I have for you guys is this one and this is even shorter than the other ones but it has proven to work and again I start out with the fish emoji and this time we write a must-have fishing reel for all fishing lovers again a very strong hook and we're emphasizing this fishing reel because we're saying that this is a fishing reel that all fishing lovers need to have and then on the second line we add the call to action this time we do not have the scarcity effect but we do have the call to action which is buyers now and then again the arrow the finger emoji with the link and then the tag someone who needs this now so these were three different methods that you could implement on your ad copies to create effective ad copies for your Facebook ads and find a lot of success with them again you may want to play around with this maybe use some of these sentences and use it up here or use these ones and use it down here it's all up to you and your audience but the main thing that you should be definitely doing is testing around with this and trying to find the perfect one for that perfect audience so I do hope these videos are helpful for you all and I also hope that this video will help you create better ad copies and let me know down in the comment section what kind of videos you guys want to be seeing and I'll be putting out more of those videos see you next time